themselves at the Cobb Dogler pumping station. Without it, the citrus couldn't spread across the valley. Head northeast from Adelaide into the Riverland, and you quickly realise how local communities like Cobb Dogler rely on the River Murray. The region is affectionately known as the Fruit Bowl of South Australia, with thousands of hectares of orchards and vines pumping millions of dollars a year into the state's economy. From the air, you can clearly see how this rich tapestry of green hugs the river channel. But the further you venture from the Murray, the more the scene changes, quickly reverting to marginal Mallee scrub, just as it was when European settlers first arrived. But all that changed in the early 1900s with the introduction of irrigation, which saw hundreds of kilometres of open channels and giant pipelines fan out to water newly planted crops. And that's where this monster comes in. This is Big Thumper. No prizes for guessing how it got its name. It's the world's only working Humphrey pump and it's the centrepiece of the Cobb Dogler Irrigation and Steam Museum. This is a haven for the boys and their toys, even if, like the Humphrey pump, they're getting on a bit. Well, this is one hell of a descent into the bowels of the Humphrey pump. Why do we need to come down so far? Uh, Lisa, um, it's necessary uh, for the water um, to be sucked into the Humphrey pump. It has, this area has to be low river level, um, otherwise the, uh, you just wouldn't get water being sucked into the, the Humphrey pump. Named after its English designer, Herbert Alfred Humphrey, Big Thumper is unique. Traditional pumps use a piston to move water, but with the majestic old Humphrey pump, the force from a controlled explosion of gas propels massive amounts of water from one chamber to another, using engineering principles which were way ahead of their time. It's absolutely amazing that uh, the time that it was invented was at the turn of the century, when internal combustion engines were still in their infancy. Few people could understand internal combustion principle, but yet Humphrey adapted that principle to pump water. Pretty soon, the massive inlet chamber we were standing in only minutes ago is full. It's a tense wait as the burners are lit and the temperature rises. When there's enough pressure, away she goes. Each firing pumps about 11 tonnes of water. That's about 6 million litres an hour. That uh, would provide irrigation water for Cobb Dogler, Loveday and New Campka, which is actually the area ar immediately around Barmra. In its day, the Humphrey pump was an absolute revolution in irrigation. This beast could pump water to an area 12 times the square mile of Adelaide. And with it, the Mallee was transformed into a garden. These boys will only fire up the Humphrey pump on special occasions. But when she's in full swing, the local school kids get an early minute from class. And for other kids at heart, it's a day to reminisce about old times. It took two firemen and one engine driver to run it. And they, three shifts, they worked 24 hours a day on it. Each shift got eight hours. About 11 and a half tonne of wood in 24 hours we used to burn. By 1964, the old Humphrey pump was obsolete and it was replaced by all of this, the electric pump, which now too is a relic of the past. It's all part of the fascinating history of irrigation in the Riverland, and it's on show at the Cobb Dogler Irrigation and Steam Museum on Park Terrace. For opening times and the dates for special firings of the Humphrey pump, contact the Barmer Visitor Information Centre.